So now we're going to get started on the painting itself. I'm going to do the background today, I'm going to do the sky, try to do the distant hills, the, uh, the tulies, and then I'm going to be doing the tule fog. I'm going to try to cut in around all the, the, the goose and her goslings. I want it to be uh, day, no, not daybreak, but a little bit after daybreak. The sky is going to be fairly light, uh, a little bit darker up here. I'm going to try to show some tule fog back in there, make all this kind of faded and, and blended so that the, the goose and her goslings really, really stand out. Um, so I'm going to try to come up with some sky colors. And I'm starting with white, it's really in blue. Uh, this will be the very darkest part of it. Not even sure exactly if this is the color I'll be using. A lot of times I just mix them up and then decide if that's what I want. I usually start with little portions like this to see if it's kind of what I'm going to be doing. So I mixed up several puddles of, of paint here. This is a, this pink is a mixture of cad red light, a little bit of uh, lizard and crimson. This one's the same with some yellow, uh, cad yellow pale put into it. This is kind of, it's going to, it looks kind of a bluish green, but it's going to be, look white once I put it up on, on the canvas. This is kind of a sky, a couple sky colors, uh, and I'm going to use these somewhere in the distant hills, trees, mountains. So my first stroke is going to be a little bit of sky color at the top. Just going to put some of this light blue up in through here. So I said, I'm kind of come up over top of the, uh, the borderline there a little bit. And the, the sun is going to be at our backs. And right now I'm just covering the, just trying to cover the sky. Great thing about oil paint is you can go back in. If you don't like it, wipe it off. You can paint back over it with other stuff. I want the values of this to be, values is what I'm talking about when I say values is the lights and the darks. I don't want to, any of it to be very dark. That way the goose will stand out against it much, much better and your eyes will focus more on the goose. So now I've got the whole sky covered uh, and even though you can't see it there's a lot of texture in there and I need to get in there and smooth it. So I'm just using this really fine fan brush and I'm going to go and I just want to blend all the texture out of it. Not all the texture but some of it, you know. I don't want these big, heavy brush strokes on this masonite. It just doesn't look very good. So I go through the whole painting, and especially in here. I've got a lot of uh, white ridges here that I have to smooth out a little. So what I have now is just kind of a modeled sky effect. It's modeled with all these little wispy clouds. I've seen a lot of mornings like this. So here's the view right now. As you can see the sky's got a little pink in the bottom. It's got some blues up there. And also there. Now I'm going to do the distant hills there, kind of a grayish purple color. You'll see that in a little bit. So as you can see, I've got these really subtle colors going right now. And um, I'm going to fill in that area on the lower left just with some violets and stuff. And uh, then I'll let it dry. Then I'll go back in and finish the background on another day once this is totally dry. So this is uh, set for a couple days. I think that it's dry. I'm going to touch it anywhere in here. That's dry, dry. Dry. So you know fing uh, paint on the fingertip, so I'm going to get to work. So what I just did is I kind of went back over the background with the clouds, uh, covered up some, some areas that needed a little bit more work, uh, worked on the uh, fog there in the middle ground. You probably don't see much difference, but I'll give you a close up and show you what it looks like here in a minute. 
like I said, I worked on this over here. This is like fog, what we call a tule fog here in the in the California area. Um, and I brightened up these pinks and oranges a little bit more. And the sky I, I worked on a little bit more. You probably can't see it a whole lot, but it really does make a difference in the painting itself. Okay, it's been a few days now. The painting is completely dry. I'm going to uh, start on the, the mother goose today and uh, she probably should get most of her done by the time the day's over. Thanks. I'm just putting in some of these dark sh uh, shapes of some of the, uh, the feathers on, on the goose's back. Don't have to be perfect. Nobody's going to be able to tell whether these are all correct, where they're supposed to be, but it does have to look real. And that's what I'm doing right now. I have a really small brush, as you can see. And that's so that uh, when you're working with little small areas like this, that's kind of what you need. So when you're working with light areas on a, an animal like this, like the feathers are kind of up in this area, they're a little bit lighter. Uh, you try to pick up some of the shades of the sky or the, the surrounding area. So I'm going to be going back over and through this a little bit later with uh, uh, some light pinks and blues and, and stuff like that because that's what we've got in the sky and you just kind of work it back and forth until you get something that looks like it's a living breathing animal I'm going to give you a close-up of it. I painted the whole uh, goose down into through her legs and all that stuff. I didn't do a whole lot of detail in the legs uh, because I got to come back over uh, top of them with, with grass and that sort of thing. Probably tomorrow or the next day I'll go ahead and start on the goslings. They will go very quickly. More or less just putting one shade on and then some darks and lights and uh, should all go very, very well. I'll just tweak some of the foreground, you know, put some grass blades and stuff in there. And also uh, worked a little bit on the water, some darken the shadows on the left side of the goose. So after I got done doing the grass down where the geese are standing, I decided that it just does not look natural. So I went ahead and put some dirt and pebbles down in, in through there, intermixed it with the grass, and I went ahead and put a a large uh, stand of grass behind the the mother goose. I also painted the the baby gosling down in the water. Uh, wanted to get going. It was as far away from the wet paint on the left, and that way my hand wasn't getting in it. I'll probably go ahead and finish the other three goslings tomorrow. Now that the painting's done, I think I was able to achieve what I was really trying to, to do. It's early morning, female Canada goose with four of her goslings, kind of tule fogs in the middle distance. And I hope you enjoyed watching me do it. Uh, it was kind of fun to do. I learned a lot while I was doing it also. I'll see you in the next one.